Good day everyone and our topic for this day is about discriminant. Our objectives are number one to determine the discriminant of the quadratic equation, number two to identify the nature of the roots of the quadratic equations based on the computed discriminant. When we say discriminant of a quadratic equation, it is used to determine the nature of its solutions, also called roots. It is the value inside the radical symbol in the quadratic uh, formula. So we have four methods in quadratic equations, extracting the square roots, factoring, completing the square, and quadratic formula. All those methods are used to solve for the roots of the given quadratic equations. But in discriminant, without using those methods, we can able to describe the nature of the roots or solutions of the quadratic equations. From the quadratic formula, negative b plus and minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a, the value inside the radical symbol is our what we call the discriminant. Discriminant is represented as small letter D. And for our formula, the discriminant is, is D equals B squared minus 4AC. Nature of the roots. Given a quadratic equation in the form of AX squared plus BX plus C equals 0, where A, B, and C are real numbers and A is not 0, we can determine the number and type of solutions of a quadratic equations by evaluating again the discriminant B squared minus 4AC. If the computed discriminant is uh, greater than 0, the equation has two real roots. If the discriminant is equal to 0, the equation has one real root. And then, if the discriminant is a less than 0, the equation has no real roots. Okay, so, pag positive daw ang ating discriminant, we expect two real roots. Okay, kapag ang discriminant is exactong 0, we have one real root, and kapag less than zero, pag less than zero, ibig sabihin yung computed discriminant natin is negative. If the discriminant is negative, we expect that the roots of the given quadratic equation is not real or imaginary. To understand more about this, let us have our first example. Number one. Describe the roots of 2x squared minus 6x plus 1 equals 0. Before solving the roots, before describing the roots of the equation, make sure it is in general form. Since the given equation is already in general form, let us identify the values of a, b, and c. Here, a is equal to 2, b is equal to negative 6, and c is equal to 1. To describe the roots, uh, use the discriminants, which is a b squared minus 4ac. Substituting all these values to the discriminant, we will have d is equal to uh, b is negative 6, so we have negative 6 squared, then minus 4 times 2 times 1. Then simplifying further, we have negative 6 squared, it is equal to 36, then negative 4 times 2 times 1 is equal to negative 8. So here we have minus 8. Then it is equal now to 36 and minus 8, it is equal to 28. So here our discriminant is 28. So the discriminant is also positive. What does it mean if our discriminant is positive? Since the discriminant is greater than 0, then 2x squared minus 6x plus 1 equals 0 has two different real roots. Example number 2. Describe the roots of 4x squared plus 4x plus 1 equals 0. As you can see in this given quadratic equation, it is already in general form. So therefore, a is equal to 4, b is equal to 4, and c equals 1. 
substituting all those values to the discriminant to describe the roots of the given equation. So we have d is equal to b squared minus 4ac, and then we will have d is equal to b is 4, so we have 4 squared, then minus 4 times a is 4, and c is 1. So, simplifying further, we have 4 squared equals 16. Uh, negative 4 times 4 times 1 equals negative 16. So, minus 16. Then, 16 minus 16. Therefore, the discriminant is a 0. Okay. Since the discriminant is exactly equal to 0, then the given equation 4x squared plus 4x plus 1 has one real root. But how can we sure that a given quadratic equation has one real root? Okay, so pwede nating gamitin yung mga methods sa pagsusolve ng roots and makikita natin kung uh, yung ating equations ay merong roots na one real root. So, we may use in this given uh, yung factoring, pwede rin completing the square, or pwede rin yung quadratic formula. Pero dito, gagamitin ko yung factoring. In such a way, kukunin ko yung factors ng first term and last term. Ang first term ng last term ay we have 2x times x, and then we have also 1x or x times 4x. Meron pa ba tayong factors ng first term? Okay, next, kunin naman natin yung factors ng last term. So, obviously, ang last term natin is 1 and ang factors lang naman niya is 1 times 1. Okay, through using the trial and error, okay, susubukin natin lahat ng factors na yan na dapat sa swak dito sa ating uh, middle term. So, we have two sets of factors, then equate it to 0. And then, last term natin is positive 1, so, and positive 1, so, dito yung 1, and dito rin yung 1. And, ang uh, last term natin is positive, therefore, same signs tayo, and same sign ng middle term, which is plus, so, parehas plus. Okay, and then, gamitin natin 2x and 2x, so, we have 2x and 2x. Using the trial and error, kunin natin yung sum ng products ng outer and inner terms. So, 1 times 2x equals 2x, then 2x times 1 equals 2x. Okay, kapag kinad natin yan, 2x plus 2x equals 4x. Parehas ba siya doon sa middle term? Yes, parehas siya. So, ibig sabihin, ito na yung factors ang given quadratic equation natin. So, we have the 2x plus 1 and equals 0. And then, yung isa is uh, 2x plus 1 is equal to 0. Getting the roots of this uh, equation, we have uh, 2x is equal to positive 1 making negative 1. Through transposition, we have 2x is equal to positive 1 making negative 1. And then, to eliminate the numerical coefficient of x divide both side by 2, 2, 2, and 2. So, in this part, cancel si 2. So, x is equal to negative 1 half. As well as dito sa pangalawang uh, roots natin, so, we have x is equal to cancel si 2 and we will have negative 1 half. Okay. So, this we proved na meron talaga tayong dalawang roots. In such a way na naging one real root lang siya kasi parehas sila ng number and or parehas din ng uh, value. So, we prove that the 4x squared plus 4x plus 1 equals 0 has a one a real root. Example number 3. Describe the roots of 3x squared minus 2x plus 5 equals 0. Obviously, this is already in general form. Uh, A is equal to 3, B is equal to negative 2, and C equals 5. So, substituting all those values to B squared minus 4AC, we will have B is equal to B squared. We have negative 2, then squared. Then minus 4 times A is a 3, then C is a 5. Uh, simplifying this, we have negative 2 squared by 4. Then negative 4 times 3 times 5, we will have negative 60. So 4 minus 60 equals our discriminant now is a negative 56. If our discriminant is negative 56 and it is a lesser than 0, then the given quadratic equation, 3x squared minus 2x plus 5 equals 0, has no real roots or tinatawag natin na 
imaginary roots. So I do hope that you learned something today, our topic about discriminant. And for your practice, solve for the discriminant of the following quadratic equations and identify the nature of its roots. We have five items here. Pause this video for 10 minutes to solve this practice. And here are the answers. I do hope that all your answers are correct. To end this video, I want to share one quote from St. Joseph Morello. Not only is the humility the guardian of purity, it is also the safeguard of the precious gift of faith. Thank you and God bless.